Hello! Today I'm going to unbox the Animal Planet Safari Crochet Kit. There are 12 projects you can make with this. And here's the front of the box. And then we've got the back of the box. And it comes with everything you need to make two of the projects. And I'm going to show you one of the finished projects once we're done with the unboxing. I ordered this kit off of Amazon. And when I got it, I saw the seal was broke, but I can't see that anything has been uh, tampered with or that the package has already been opened, but we'll take a look and see what's inside. Okay, so here we go. This is the box, and let's take a look at what all the products are that come with the kit. So first, we'll start off with the yarn. And it says that the two projects that you can make with the yarn included are the warthog and the lion. And so we've got some dark brown, kind of a yellow color, black, and then a cream. And then here we have uh, two sets of safety eyes, a yarn needle, We've got the book, and we'll look at this here a little closer in just a second. We have a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. Nothing under the little box here. That's just added cardboard. And we'll see, usually it's uh, the stuffing underneath. And that's what we got here, is just extra stuffing. So that's everything that comes with this box, but we'll look at the book a little closer next. I just wanted to give you a little bit closer look at the 3.5 millimeter crochet hook, and this is just your standard aluminum hook. So it's just the standard one that comes with most kits. It's a good hook. I'll probably just use my own when it comes to making a project from this, um, just because I find that mine have better handles and make it a little easier to use. For the book, we have two giraffes on the front and a cute little lion on the back. And it looks like it's Thunder Bay Press that uh, created this kit. And then let's take a look inside and it's got some really nice pictures. So it looks like the projects that we're gonna be able to do are the lion, warthog, African buffalo, baboon, crocodile, elephant, giraffe, hippo, honey badger, ostrich, rhinoceros, and a zebra. So let's take a look at what all the book has to offer. So we've got our introduction, abbreviations, uh, notes on the tools and material, some stitches and techniques, and let's see, uh, some information on how to put the animals together, and then we're getting to the projects. And I love the pictures in this book. So we've got the lion, we've got the warthog, here's the African buffalo, baboon, Crocodile, elephant, and some pictures of the animals. We've got a giraffe. Oh, that's a cute picture. The hippo, a honey badger. I really like him. He might be the one that I'm going to make. Os oops, here we go. We've got an ostrich, the rhinoceros. And zebra. And I believe that was the last one. And some more really nice pictures of all the animals. So the next thing I'm going to do, now that we've looked at what's in the box and got an idea about the book, I'm going to make one of the projects so you're able to see kind of the size and what it looks like when you have a finished product. I'm going to use my own yarn because I find that the yarn that comes in the kits um, isn't quite always the best yarn. And I know that if I'm going to make an entire set, I'd like to stick with one consistent size of yarn. So I'll just go ahead and use, oh, basically it'll be Red Heart Super Saver that I'll be using. But I'll go ahead and get a project made up and I'll show you that next. So here is my honey badger. 
And I did decide to go with this one because as soon as I saw it in the book, I was pretty much hooked on I had to have him. I did not have the exact colors for the gray on the inside and the gray trim around the outside that they had in the book, but I do think he came out really cute. His eyes um, are the safety eyes that came with the kit, and those are really good quality. Uh, as far as him himself, uh, it's not the pattern. Any issues with him, that would be my skill. So I really think he turned out great. And then I wanted to show you a couple things I noticed in the book. So here is my honey badger compared to what they have in the book. And I don't think mine turned out too bad. So I find that the pattern was nice to follow and it's not too far off. Uh, one thing I did notice with the pattern is the kit gives you a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook and this pattern does come or I'm sorry does call for a 3.25 millimeter crochet hook so you may find throughout the book that there could be a slight change in sizes but even if you use the 3.5 that the kit came with I think you would still like the size that the honey badger turns out it wouldn't be that much of a difference and it would still look cute while looking through the book, I noticed a couple things with these patterns that I really appreciated. So when you really look at the giraffe, you can see all the stitches that he has all over his body to really give him that detail of his spots. And then with the zebras, you can see how much there is with the color changes going back and forth. Now this may take quite a bit of extra work to get these to be completed, but I really thought the way they took the time to do the details really enhanced the patterns of this book. My overall thoughts on this kit is that I recommend it and I enjoyed making the Honey Badger. I'm looking forward to making more of the patterns out of this book and I think overall it's your standard kit. It comes with the book, the crochet hook, the normal yarn that they come with, but I think overall it's a really good kit and I would think that anybody who picked this one up would enjoy the size of the projects, especially if they were going to give these to kids to create their own little zoo or just to play with because they're a nice size. So yes, I do recommend this one and I hope you enjoyed seeing what the box had to offer and one of the projects completed from, from the kit. And if you have any questions, uh, you can just leave a comment down below. Otherwise, I hope you have a great day and thank you so much.